Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Chloe, if you're new here. Today I'm going to talk about five healthy productivity habits that I have implemented into my life and that have changed my life and that could change your life as well. This video is a collaboration with Bella Beat. Bella Beat is a tech-driven wellness company for women and they offer all types of tech products, whether it's jewelry, water bottles, that enable you to track your wellness and balance out your life. I've personally been using their time watch since about a month now and I really like to keep track of my healthy daily habits because I think health is definitely connected to your productivity. This watch also enables me to check my stress sensitivity which is super important when working a lot and being productive. I will show you later in the video how I keep track of my daily habits with my time watch. My number one habit when it comes to productivity is introspection. So whether it is through meditation or journaling, any type of activity where I just find myself alone with my thoughts, if I go on a run without listening to an audiobook or a podcast, this could be also seen as introspection. Whatever it means for you, if it's drawing, painting, doing something creative, where you're just being with yourself, dancing with music, there are many ways that you can introspect and um, go see what's in you and whatever flows out of you. And for me, it's really been something that I've realized helped me tons with productivity, but also creativity. So whatever activity you enjoy, find some time just for yourself to be with yourself and be with your thoughts so you can have more mental clarity. And I feel like the more clear you are in your head and in your mind, the clearer you will be in your work. And the clearer you are, the more focused you are, and the more focused you are, the more productive you are. I know this is quite long, but I think you got the point. And yeah, meditate, guys. My second habit for productivity is to learn. You cannot become better at something and be productive at things if you're slow at a certain task. Maybe you're slow at this task because you haven't gotten the skills yet or maybe you have to learn something about it. Read about it, learn more about it, learn about many, many things. While you learn, you train also your memory, which helps you in the end also be more productive. And personally, I love reading to learn more things. For me, reading is becoming inspired. And when I'm inspired, I want to create. And I feel like reading can be so beneficial, not just to learn new things, but to adapt things and take actions then into your life from what you're actually reading. And I made a video not too long ago about the audiobooks that I listen to and kind of like my favorite books. Um, in a what I eat in a day video, so I will link it down below. I have a list of my favorite books underneath that video So if you're interested, you can check that out If you want me to make a full video just about my favorite books, I could do that as well recently I've not been super consistent with reading to be honest, but I have been consistently either listening audiobooks listening to podcasts and then reading a little bit when I had time so I have been reading but I haven't had like a set book which I'm like constantly checking it every single day to read for like at least 20 minutes. So that's kind of like something that I used to be super good at and I kind of stopped recently but now with summer coming back and hanging out at the lake I will always bring a book with me so I think that's going to help a lot with getting back into reading. If you don't find time to read during the day you can listen to audiobooks or you can even like leave some books in the bathroom like wherever you are if you're commuting with the train i used to read while i was on the train while i was living in berlin that was a really good way to incorporate more reading into my day so there are many ways you can incorporate more reading time into your day just be a little creative with it and um, find a book that you love my third habit that i've implemented into my life is time management this is huge and this will predict a lot of what you're actually going to be able to do within one week period of time a month a year 10 years if you don't manage your time properly and if you're not disciplined with it you're gonna waste a lot of it there are a few things that 
are a bit more concrete that I'm going to give you right now in how I manage my time. You want to plan things ahead. You don't want to end up by the deadline and not having done anything and working under stress. It is really not fun to work under stress and it's even if you have fun doing it, it's not healthy for you. So you don't want to work like that for the rest of your life. And also you have to be careful because while doing that, you never know, but life is happening and anything could happen at any time. You might get sick, maybe your computer breaks down. There can be so many things that are going to come across the way of you ac accomplishing the task. And don't get caught up into planning too much because I feel like a lot of people, they just take so much time to plan things and they actually never do what they have to do. So it's good to plan, but don't use it as a distraction either. So make a plan that it's quite strict and um, visual, but then focus on what's important. So that comes to my second tip, which is prioritize things. So really make a priority of which tasks are urgent, which ones are important, which one can wait a little bit. And so you focus on only one, two or three max per day. And you just do these instead of having like an endless to-do list. And the last thing about time management is to take time off. Taking time off is so important for your productivity, for your health, for your creativity. And if you don't manage your time properly, you're probably never going to take time off or too much of it. Just take time for yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't burn yourself out just working 24 seven. It's going to take a lot more time for you to recover. If you wait so long until you burn out to take time off, it's better to Plan your week properly so that you have one, two or three days a week where you don't have anything and you're able to just have fun and live instead of just working all the time. It's really important to remind yourself that you just sometimes need to relax, have fun, go something, go on a trip. And it, trust me, it's so worth it. And the world is not going to stop spinning because you take a day or two off. My fourth habit that... I have implemented into my life is taking responsibility for whatever is happening to me in my life. So that means not playing the victim when something happened. Really understanding, okay, why did that happen? Why is my computer not working today? It's full. I have to empty it. I have to organize it. And it's my fault that I didn't clean it earlier and I waited the last minute. And instead of blaming others or blaming things, just take responsibility and this will empower you first of all you're gonna be a lot more accountable to yourself but also to others when you start playing the victim you're actually procrastinating and distracting yourself and blaming others instead of actually trying to find solutions and getting things done when you're taking responsibility for yourself and whatever is happening to you you are in full control of the situation and even though you don't know how you're gonna solve it you're gonna try and the fact that it doesn't work is not gonna stop you from going further and then finally let's get to my last habit which is tracking if you want to be disciplined have a productive lifestyle you gotta be tracking your habits and that's something that I started doing when I started bullet journaling and I really love it because it really gives me an overview of every single one of my habits that I want to perform in and see where I have to work on and what I actually have been good at for the past month. Things might change, like maybe for a month I'm really good at meditation but I didn't exercise much and then vice versa. It doesn't really matter. The idea is that you get a feedback at the end of the month and you're like, okay, this didn't work. Why it didn't work? How can we do better the next month? So as I said before, I used to track my habits in my bullet journal, which uh, was the first way on how I got into it. And I really enjoyed doing that. However, I realized over the past couple months, I haven't been logging in to my bullet journal so often to track my habits. To be honest, I've been using it more for my budget and my daily tasks. And so recently I have been using my time watch from Bella Beat. Bella Beat offers also other products like other types of jewelry and also water bottles. And basically what all of these products do is that they help you track 
your health and wellness. So how it works is that your watch or whatever product you have from Bella Beat is connected to an app on your phone and it tracks your activities, so how much you're exercising, so you can just log that in whenever you go on a run or to a yoga class. There are so many sports on there, you just have to choose from and say for how long you went. On the app, you can also set yourself a goal that you want to exercise for at least 30 minutes every single day, and then you can see whenever you reach that goal. There is also a tracking for your sleep, which is so important to get good nights of sleep. You can set up also a goal for the amount of hours that you'd like to sleep, so seven, eight, nine hours a night. And then you choose from what time until what time you wanna go sleep. And how it works is that the watch is gonna wake you up in the morning, when it's time to wake up, it just vibrates. There's also a meditation tracker on there, which I love, and I set up 10 minutes um, goal for every single day and whenever I do my meditation I'm actually mindful about it and I'm like okay I'm gonna do 10 minutes I put it into the app and then I'm done and I've accomplished my goal for today which is really cool and then it has a stress sensitivity tracker which is something that I never had on my bullet journal obviously because it's very specific and how it works is that the app will count the how mindful you were, so how much meditation you did, your physical activity, how much sleep you got, and also where in your cycle you are as a woman. And this is a really good way to check the amount of stress that you're currently living with. It's a really good reminder and I really like that feature about the app. I think it's really cool. So that's what I've been doing to track my habits recently. One last thing that Bella Beat does and my watch does is that if it notices that I'm sitting for too long it will vibrate and tell me to move which is super good when you are working in the office and you're sitting all day for many hours in a row just standing up so you can walk to the bathroom go grab some water and I become a lot more productive when I'm um, regularly in motion so that's a super cool feature of the watch because I sometimes just get stuck on editing for hours on end and I don't realize I'm just sitting and my posture gets worse and worse and worse. So that's really, really cool. I really, really like that. So there will be more about Bella Beat down in the description if you're interested, as well as the link to the video where I talked about my favorite books. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any habits that I didn't mention about productivity and your lifestyle that you'd like to share with everyone on here, let us know in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' habits and tips on productivity. And that's it for today. So thank you and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.